What is Crack Lacking Gangsters? So in this video, we're going to show you how you can retarget animation using just 3D characters. For this example, we are going to use the free character pack, which you can download here. Link is in the description below. So just go here on our website, click here, free characters. You can download the characters. And when you open them, or when you download them and open them, the Unreal Engine project is 4.27. Now you can migrate these characters in Unreal Engine 5, any version, and we showed you how to do that right here. So we can go on the tutorials. This is also where we're going to watch this video if you're not watching on YouTube. Here you're going to see this tutorial as well, and you can find here, import just 3D characters at Unreal Engine and Unity and see how you can simply migrate them in Unreal Engine 5. Now. When it comes to Unreal Engine 4.27, first I'm going to import. So let's go here and these are my projects or actually the assets. So let me say anim here. And for this example, I am going to use, let's say this bossy enemy animation pack. And I'm going to go here and add it to the project. And here is my project. So add to project and now we are good to go. And in order to anim to retarget animations here in the boss, let me just go here and in place attacks. Here we go. Here we have one attack. Let's take a look at it. It's for whatever reason, it's a little bit slow. I don't know why, but you get the point. Anyways, um, this is not about animations. It's about retargeting animations with Yoast 3D characters. So let's go here. What we need to do is. I'm going to go here in the bossy enemy and skeletal mesh. And here is the mesh that I need first. Then I'm going to go inside of his skeleton. And then here for select rig, we're going to select the humanoid rig and save that. So this is mandatory that you first do. And you need to do this for every animation that you want to retarget because the animations are rigged on Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin, in this case, Unreal Engine 4, because this is Unreal Engine 4.27. Same way in Unreal Engine 5, it will be rigged on Unreal Engine 5 Mannequin. Now I'm talking about animations that you get from the marketplace, so for Unreal Engine Marketplace, and most animations to be compatible, they need to be rigged in order to be reused. And in order to reuse them, we retarget them. So to retarget them first, select the humanoid rig, as you saw. Next, we're going to go here. And because our Yoast 3D, the free character pack that you get, you get three characters. So let's go here and let me just show you those three characters. So the three characters that you get is the Viking, is the Leonas, is the Knight. Now, the Viking and the Knight, they are from the Souls Starter Pack which contains around seven characters and Leona's is from pack one, which contains five characters. So that's why over here, when you go, you will see two different folders. So souls pack one, here you have Leona's and here is soul starter pack. You have the Knight and the Viking. So for this retargeting example, I'm going to use the Knight. So let's go here, open the Knight character, and we're going to do the exact same thing what we did for the animation that we have imported. So for this animation, we're going to select the Knight, go in his skeleton, and here we need to make sure that we select the humanoid rig. So let's go here, and I'm going to save that. And now we can go back and inside of the animation, so bossy enemy, and here animations, let's say in place, let's go into the attacks. I'm going to use this attack as, am I going to use this one? No, the previous one, where is the previous one? Uh, this is it. Yeah, the charge one, okay. So now what we're going to do with this animation is basically select it, right click on it and retarget anim assets and then click here, duplicate anim assets and retarget. And from here, you need to select the skeleton. Now remember, a moment ago, I told you that Leonas comes from Souls Pack 1 and the Knight and the Viking come from the Soul Starter Pack. So here you have this skeleton. Make sure that it's the skeleton which goes in the path Souls Starter, then Yost 3D, then Demo, then this one. So it's basically just Game Souls Starter. That's the important thing because this one goes Souls Pack 1. You see Game Souls Pack 1. So don't make that mistake. Even though they are the same, but just for the sake of purpose, I don't want something to be messed up if you select the skeleton of Leonis. So let's go here, select the Yos base skeleton from the Souls one, and then I'm going to say retarget. And now look at that, we have a problem. So if this occurs, and let me just show it again, because I don't know if you saw it, because this is, you know, the warning and just went off or basically expired. So this right here, it says old skeleton, blah, 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 new skeleton need to have a preview mesh set up to 
basically be able to convert the animation. What this means is we need to set the preview for the skeleton meshes in order for the animations to convert. In order to do that, we're going to go back here in our Y base skeleton. And here at the top left corner, you see this preview mesh. So basically this right here. So you click on that and I'm going to preview or use the knight as the preview. Now really important, when we select the knight, you see this at the bottom right corner, preview mesh sent temporarily. So we need to apply to asset. So click apply and now it is applied to the asset. And we need to of course save it. Now we need to do the same thing for this right here or for this skeleton. Even though when we go on the preview, he only has this one over here. So simply select it. So click on him, select him. And if it prompts you here at the bottom right corner to apply that, apply the same way how we applied it over here. So again, go here on the skeleton. Let's go skeleton, select him. And when you select him here at the bottom right, click the apply. Now, when we do that, or when we did that, we can go back, we can select animation, right click, and let's go here, retarget anim assets. And now when we retarget them, you can see both previews right here. There you go. And I can retarget and finally, 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 the animation has retargeted. To preview the animation, simply double click it and open it here. And we need to zoom on it because, well, we cannot see it from here. So when we zoom, we're going to notice one weird thing is that the arms of our knight are ran over by a truck. So you can notice that his arms are not correctly displayed for whatever reason. And in order to fix that, we need to go back in the skeleton from the knife, from the knife, from the knight. Now, when we do that here in the options, you're going to click on the options and you have this show retargeting options. So make sure that you click on that and this is how you fix it. So first things first, what I'm going to do is try to put the first two, so root and pelvis from animation, I'm going to change them to skeleton. So make sure that you change them from animation to skeleton. And of course, make sure that you save that. And now we can go and see if that change made any difference. And we can see that it did not. Okay. So next, what we can do is let's go here. And I'm going to just set the first one to be and the, at the skeleton level. And the pelvis will be at the animation. And again, that did not change anything. So what I'm going to do is the following. Let's try this. So the first one are going to be, so the root and the pelvis are going to be at the animation, translating retard, translation retargeting from the spine. So select the spine and go right click and click on this recursively set translation retargeting to skeleton. And what this is going to do, it is going to change everything from the spine and down under all the children, as you can see, it has changed this to be the skeleton, except from the tie and down. But for now, we're not going to touch it. Let's see if this fixed the issue. So again, the first two, so the root and the pelvis are going to be at the animation. Then from the spine, right click and recursively set translation retargeting to skeleton. So when we save that now, make sure that you save and let's go back here. Now we can see that the animation has been fixed. Well, basically the arms have been fixed. So we have the arms, as you can see, the arms are fixed, but well, they're not deformed, that is. But we still have an issue where the arms are not aligning correctly. And let me just preview that issue. So look at this, you see the arms should not be like this. And in order to fix that, we can go here on the character and then bones and then all hierarchy to show the bones of our character. And from there, you can alter the animation part by part. So let me just try it like this. So there you go. What we can do is maybe we can click on this and actually this is his leg, but you get the point. So this can be a tedious process a little bit, but this depends on the animations, you know, this depends totally on the animations. And let me just see if this is going to, yeah, you see here we can rotate the arm. There you go. It's already getting better. And here we can select this and rotate it something like this. You get the point. So you're going to go here and, you know, change these, change the frames. And from here, you can see that this is now messed up. But yeah, it will not take that long as you think. This can be fixed very easily. But yeah, basically that's that. You see, now you have the knight. And let me just go here from the character. Bones, selected only. 
the animation is already better. Now I'm not going to go part by part here. You can see the animation is already being better. And as I said, I'm not gonna go part by part. Here you can go and readjust the animation and all of that stuff. But basically, yeah, this is how you retarget things. It's not every single time that when you just click a button, everything is magically retargeted and you don't have to do anything. Most of the times it is, but I chose this example on purpose to show you at the times where things are not perfect, what you need to do and how you can basically overcome that. So yeah, if you have any questions, you can ask them in our Discord or you can ask them here below the video and we will you know, try to help you out as much as we can. And now we're going to go in Unreal Engine 5.3.2, I believe is the last version before 0.4. And we are going to show you how to retarget the animations there.